Jesus, inshallah. And then there's uh, in section 5, it says at the end there, hamburgers are my lifestyle. What is that section about, you think? Anybody? Yes, sir. Close, but not. What does it mean, hamburgers are my lifestyle? Anyone want to guess? None? No, we're actually going to talk about homosexuality there. <laughs> Why do I call it hamburgers are my lifestyle? Well, one reason is that uh, when, when Al Maghrib headquarters looked at my, my outline, they said, you know, if you're stopped at airports and people see this, they might think you're spreading hatred against gays and everything. So I said, hamburgers are my lifestyle. Because the truth is, that's what homosexuality is it's a desire. And a desire is never a lifestyle. True? So I desire, this is true, so I'm not, not making this up. I desire hamburgers. I desire hamburgers all the time. I'm happy to be in California because you have In-N-Out Burger, which is my favorite. They're the best. So I desire hamburger all the time. You can wake me up at 2 in the morning, give me a hamburger, I'll just, I'll just eat it. I love hamburgers. But I don't walk around saying it's my lifestyle. You like fried chicken, it's not your lifestyle. It's a desire. Since when it desire your entire lifestyle? This is not. So we're going to look at the, the truth. What, what is really, you know, what's, what's behind those people with the, uh, with the loose limbs and the ligaments and stuff? What's their issue? I'm going to talk about that. <laughs> you know what, my gay story goes like this. You know what, you know what a gaydar is? Yeah, it's, your, it's your, your radar, your ability to detect a gay person. And some people have very strong gaydar. Who is a strong gaydar? Put your hands up. Fantastic. Okay, just one person has strong gaydar around here? But basically, I'm sure you, the minute you just take one look, you know he's gay. Immediately, right? <laughs> Excellent. My younger brother is like that. Just, he, just one look, he's gay. Now for me, my gaydar is like broken. <laughs> I'm giving dawah to this guy in the streets in D.C. And I, I work him up to the, the shahada, right? So I ask him for the shahada. He says, I can't. My lifestyle won't allow it. I said, what is this guy talking about? He said, look man, I don't know what you mean by that. You know, we already agreed, you agreed on everything, you have the ingredients to become Muslim. Why walk away non-Muslim? I work on him again, ask for the shahada one more time. He says, I can't. My lifestyle won't allow it. I said, listen man, I've been doing this for many, many years. No one's ever said lifestyle to me. You keep saying lifestyle. What is your lifestyle? He said, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> and only then, when he says I'm gay, do I suddenly realize a lot of things. And here I am talking to you about being perceptive and stuff. Suddenly I realize he's wearing a pink t-shirt. <laughs> and he's got the gay, gay sleeve going on. You know what the gay sleeve is? The sleeve isn't here. And it's not here either. It's like that. You know what I'm talking about? That weird gay sleeve thing. I suddenly notice the gay sleeve. I notice the pink t-shirt. I notice loose limbs and stuff. I'm like, oh. So at that point, we didn't know what, how to deal with it. We just kept staring at him like that. <laughs> and I was tempted to... I mean, even, even now I'm tempted to make a joke about him taking shahada but praying in the front row, but I'm not going to make that joke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so we want, you know, the truth is, it's just a desire. It's not a lifestyle, it's not a right. We're going to look at some of the arguments they present.